Today we're going to be doing a product re review for the Chill Out Chair. This is Eleanor. She's four years old. She was born blind and she has brain conditions. And um, so we needed a different chair for her for sitting around the house, for eating meals, and for hanging out and playing with toys and stuff. Um, what she currently uses, because she can't sit independently, um, so people play with her. We'll hold her on the ground. We'll hold her on the couch. She'll roll around on the ground, but she can't sit independently and just be left with toys. So what we currently use is just a typical baby high chair right over here. And uh, this has been good for her needs uh, when she was smaller, but she's getting really big, obviously. And she's getting really tall, and she's too tall for it now. Her head is just getting up high, and she's pretty wild. I know. Here, here's another trick. Oh, no, no, I know. I'm Sally. It's boring to make videos, huh? She's pretty wild, so she'll um, throw herself around, like, when she's uh, dancing and stuff like that. No, 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 don't gag yourself. So, um, so we always worry about her, you know, bashing her head in the chair because she has hydrocephalus, so she has a shunt in her head as well. Um, and then also just for her support of her hips and stuff, um, that seat is just a normal high chair. So it's not made for kids to be sitting in it for hours and hours and hours on, de on end in a day. So we wanted something that would give her more support and comfort and uh, hopefully she won't have hip problems and stuff like that. So we just got this in. This is our chill out chair. There are two versions. There's the rocker version and there's the roller version. And we got the roller version, which comes on wheels. And I was actually impressed with the wheels on this thing uh, because it moves around just nice, like smooth as butter. We got the locks. I think the locks actually automatically come on it. Um, so you can lock it in place so it won't move. But it's really easy. This way I can strap her in it and I can literally pull her over to the couch where I'm at. I can pull her over to the kitchen so that she can be near me when I'm cooking. And I can pull her into the bedroom for in the evening when I'm taking care of her. So the roller version, perfect for us. Maybe somebody else would like the rocker version though. Uh, we also got the tray, so I'm going to go ahead and try her in it so you can see what she looks like in it. There are these clamps on the side here. This is how you loosen it, the tray, so you loosen it like that, and then it just swings right out so we can load her in. Oh, Eleanor, she's gagging herself. Sorry, she's bored. Okay, we got the additional headpiece right here for comfort, which seems to, it's really nice and cushy, but it's, she turns it into a plate when she starts playing with it. Uh, we got this. This is a nice three-point harness right here. They have a, I think, a two-point one. We just got the three-point so that she can't scoot out because she will scoot out of the chair otherwise. So it just cradles her in very nicely, just like that. No, no, no. Look at just toys, okay? Buckle in. Buckle in. Buckle in. There you go. And she can't get out that way. See, she's going to put up the headpiece. <laughs> the headpiece is great, but, you know, she doesn't work well. <laughs> Excuse me, she doesn't work well with it. Then the tray can be lifted up or go down however we want it, like right there. And you can lock it in place. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm having allergies today. You can also angle the tray, which we angled it up just a little bit, but it can be angled at different angles and stuff. And this is just perfect for her. She actually likes to drum on it. She can have her toys on it, which I'm going to give her a toy right now because she's going to be upset otherwise. Here you go. You want to put your toy on your tray? So she can play with her toys that way. Um, we can do feedings in her chair this way. It's totally comfy, comfy, okay? Then we've got this footrest that came with it, which we're going to love to use later. She's pretty short, so she doesn't really need too much yet. All you have to do is undo the Velcro and attach it here and do that on both sides so that the um, ottoman will stay with the seat. And I actually super love it. It's super comfy, but she just doesn't need it yet because she's short, so we'll store it until she's ready for that part. It has a little handle on the front that they built in. I don't know the purpose of the handle, but I use it just to pull her over to me on the couch because I don't want to pull on the tray and mess up the tray potentially. So I just move that just like so. Keep it close to Okay, then back here, I'm gonna show you in the back. We got the push bar as well. They don't come with this unless you request it. It's an extra fee, but the insurance paid for it. This is just a nice powder coated push bar so that I can easily move her. As you can see, just flip her all around and I can move her to the other room. So she can be wherever the family's at, that's the big thing. If we're congregated in the kitchen and I'm cooking, um, she can come and hang out with mom nice and easy. I can just push her right in there and she'll hang out with mom. If we're out here watching TV, then it's easy to just pull her over to myself on the couch 
or flip her around the other way, which she can't see, so she doesn't care about seeing the television, but then she is pointed towards the sound, you know, if we have music playing and stuff like that. So it's just an awesome chair. Now this one in particular I thought I wanted to get because it looks so cushy cushy. We got the up um, the upgraded foam, it's like TEC foam or whatever. So it's extra, you know, ergonomic and amazing and stuff, right? So this thing is completely squishy. Like, it's it's keeping its form for her to sit in it, which is awesome, but it's completely squishy. So when she has her freak outs, which if you have a special needs kid, you might know what I'm talking about, or if she's just super joyful that day, and she just starts going like this, kind of freaking out, then she's not gonna hurt herself, okay? This, it's really hard. I put some extra foam in there, but even then it's like pretty pathetic, right? This is nothing but a giant foam block. There's no bars in it or anything that's gonna injure her if she throws herself around. She's got the padding on the sides. So, and the whole cupping design of this seat just gives her that um, outside input all around that makes her feel cozy and secure. As you can see, she's happy in the seat. She loves this thing. Now, the only upgrade that I wanna get that we don't have currently that Chill Out does have as a feature is they have positioning cushions um, that we can add to it that would basically boost her up in the back like this. It's like a cushion that goes back behind so she can sit up better and then they have like some side ones so they're just positioning cushions and we are going to get those on order as well because it'll make it even more versatile especially for feedings because she doesn't want to lay too far back when we're doing feedings because she does eat by mouth so we're going to get those added in i'm sure those are going to be amazing just like the rest of the seat this thing is a genius design it's so comfy for her so she we don't have to worry about her sitting around in pain or you know, sitting too long and her hips starting to ache. I know a lot of special needs kids have problems with their hips getting, you know, pushed out of joint because they sit so long and stuff. And this is just a super blessing to us. So um, we really applaud the makers of the chill out chair because they really designed it for those with special needs uh, to be comfortable. And like I said, the big thing for us is that she can be included wherever we're at. I can, I can push it outside if I wanted to, I guess, but because it, it's not like terribly heavy. Um, the, the ottoman is really lightweight, but um, mostly I'm just going to use it in the house, but I especially like that I can just take her with me if I need to go in the other room, then I don't have to be like, hey, somebody come watch her real quick, you know, because she needs constant supervision. I can just take her in the kitchen with me, park her nearby while I'm cooking or baking cookies or something like that, and I can talk to her and interact with her right there in the kitchen with me. So uh, overall, we definitely give this like a 10 out of 10. This seat is amazing. I wouldn't even do any improvements to it. It's perfect. I just want to get those extra positioning cushions, but I didn't know that those were available, so we didn't order them. But uh, overall, we definitely recommend the Chill Out Chair. And uh, so if you go to their website, you can just Google Chill Out Chair. That's what I did. I think it's like chill-outchair.com or something like that. Just Google it. You can find it easily. Um, try to go through. We went through our physical therapist to get it. We got it as an activity positioning chair for in the house so she could be in a good position. And it also doubles as a feeder since we got the tray with it so that we could uh, do feedings with her as well. So, uh, and also, like I said, she can put her toys on it. So it's just multi-use. So we highly recommend the chill out chair. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments. I'll be happy to um, share any knowledge that I have with you or answer any questions. And also I do want to mention, we also got the med block liner is what it's called, which is a special liner. It's underneath this purple layer. There's actually a layer, it's almost like a tarp kind of a layer that um, blocks moisture so if she like pees through this or um, spills, you know, her juice or whatever, it will stop um, the foam on the inside from getting wet because obviously if you have a giant foam block, you don't want it to be compromised with, you know, liquids and things and then bacteria can grow and stuff. So we got that med block liner which actually goes underneath this cover um, to make sure that uh, the seat lasts us for years and years to come. And this is actually the size small, by the way. She's four and this is a small. I think they used to make an extra small, but they discontinued it. So now they just have the small, medium, and large. I don't know if they have bigger than that. I know, I know. I know. Mama talks too much sometimes. All right, well, if you guys have any questions, then post them in the comments. Otherwise, um, you can follow Eleanor's channel. If you go to our channel, um, Ellie's Life, then you can see the other product reviews that we do and you can find out about her miraculous uh, brain growth that she had when she was younger and follow just her journey. Um, but God bless you guys and I hope you guys stay safe out there.